Let's go down for that one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. I'm getting a bit dizzy, here. Yeah? Stop it then. Stop it. Shall I just stop it? I'll tell you what, I'll show you a trick. How about, how about a trick? Could you put that hat on my foot, then? services in northeast London. We're here today because we're just putting on show a little bit of what we do. We're hoping to give people information and we're hoping that they'll sign up and wanting to be involved in some of our arts projects. We give people an opportunity to express their creativity. A lot of people don't have that opportunity in their day-to-day -day lives so we offer that. Um, we actually help people to build up confidence and self-esteem build up some of their art skills so that they would be able to go out there and um, use some of the opportunities that are available in the public arena as well. Um, art exhibitions, volunteering with art organizations, maybe even getting into paid work or tutoring or things like that. Yeah. So it's all about actually skilling people up and giving them the opportunities that they might not get anywhere else. Yeah, Come on team, you all know about reminiscence. Okay, reminiscence is about remembering the past. So it's helping people that have got memory impairment to stimulate parts of their brain so they can remember things that have happened in their past. So our stand today is about the 1950s and we've got sweets from the 1950s so that will evoke smell and taste. And we've got things to look at and also we've got visual things and we've got music playing from the 1950s so you can actually hear sounds from the 50s so hopefully that will evoke powerful memories for people as well. Okay, people that have got memory impairment, especially people with dementia, often have very poor short-term memory but their longer memory is normally more intact. So by helping them to remember their past helps them to become and feel more of an individual again to allow them to feel that they've got more of a purpose in their life as well because they can remember their past and that will be a bit more meaning to their present day. And it's something that not just the individual with a memory impairment can enjoy but the whole family can enjoy as well. So you can have very young children, grandchildren along with their wife, partner, our son or daughter helping them to remember this and it can be done anywhere at any time really so it's a very good therapy to use. Today we're here to promote about dementia services and uh, mental health and older people. Um, really for today it's for everyone from the community to come and talk about um, and raise awareness about mental health so people don't feel that there's a problem and most of us have uh, mental health concerns. I mean I think today's a good representation of mental health services in Redbridge. We all work together really well and we support different groups of people and I think everyone here is really passionate about what they choose to do. Um, I specialise in dementia and I absolutely love my job because one of the best things in my job is helping people to remain living well in the community. Um, we work with people from point of diagnosis until the end of their life and so it's ensuring that people can do what they want to do and not feel restricted in the things that they do. 
Hi, my name's Kim Jordan. I work for an organisation called Family Mosaic and it's based on place, um, supporting people with me like mental health problems. Um, and it's mainly aimed at, say for example, people that are teenagers that are coming out of um, hospital uh, that have been there for quite a while. And we actually offer supportive accommodation like for two years, like um, supporting them to be more independent in the community, um, whether it's benefits, all that sort of stuff. So basically setting them up for, to be more independent in the community. I've been in mental health for about the last eight years now. Um, I've been with family my life for the last two years and I like mental health because there's always or well, there's always been a bad stigma against mental health and I'd like when I first started out in mental health I started to volunteer and then I just wanted to give something really, really well, give something back really and sort of like get it out there that mental health, just because you've got mental health, it doesn't mean that you, you can't be supported or you can't be helped and like as I always say mental health hits people regardless of colour, whether you're rich, white, poor, whatever. It, if it's going to take you, it will take you. So my, I try and promote my support and help to people that basically need support with mental health.